in three, two, one, go. Alrighty, we clearly got some different strategies going on. We got all cubes for the Red Alliance and all cones for blue, at least in the center area. Looks like the Black Knights as well as Panther Tech are both trying to get that balance for their alliances. Looks like Panther Tech was successful. And both pen teams are on the hunt for additional game pieces. We've got the Golden Rooks getting a cube onto that high row. It looks like the Blue Alliance is trying to push all of these game pieces onto their side, giving them that strategic advantage for later. We've got the Golden Rooks working on placing a cube. Meanwhile, Galactech just placed a cone for that Red Alliance. Panther Tech working their way over to place a cone for the Red Alliance. Black Knights just placed a cube for the Blue Alliance. And Panther Tech gets their cone on that high rung. Galactech coming in with another cone, looking to complete that link. And they are successful. There's two links down for the Red Alliance. Just a reminder, each link is worth an additional five points. An elite consists when there are three horizontal game pieces in a row. Galactech and Panther Tech working together to fill out that top row for the Red Alliance. Meanwhile, you can see Giddy Goats trying to push that cone in to make sure that they get the points in that low row. Black Knights working on filling out a link in their low row as well for the Blue Alliance. Galactech grabbing another cube. Trying to fill out that top row is Panther Tech for the Red Alliance, and they're able to get that final link in that co-op grid. Looks like both alliances have three pieces in that co-op grid, meaning that they've now lowered the sustainability threshold to four links. And it looks like Galactech is really trying to get that final link for the Red Alliance. Meanwhile, it looks like the Blue Alliance have decided that they are ready for endgame and are going for the triple dock, but will they be able to get it engaged is the question. <laughs> Meanwhile, we've got pa Panther Tech as well as Wiley Robotics looking to get it engaged. It looks like the Red Alliance was able to get their last link though. This is gonna be a pretty close match once you add this end game. So I'm curious to see how these scores turn out. All right, let's see those scores. And the winner is the Red Alliance. Earning those four ranking points. It looks like prioritizing that last ranking point was definitely a good idea.